Hey everybody, this is Chris. I am so excited to share with you today, in detail, how I made this Dragon Throne using no electrical power tools, of course. My goal is that you'll be able to reapply my techniques and thought processes into your next project, whether it be with electrical power tools or hand tools. The first question you'll probably have is, why did I make this Dragon Throne? A task that took me over 250 hours and six months. And the short answer is, I want to have a celebrity auction. This chair was inspired by the HBO show, The Game of Thrones. I started with the Stark Direwolf, then the Lannister Lion, and then the Targaryen Dragon. And I thought along the way, wouldn't it be cool if I made a dragon throne and then had some type of celebrity auction associated with the show, or not, uh, and have a fundraiser and give that money to a great charity? So this is, that's the short answer to the story. And we'll talk more about that later. Right now, let's get into the build. Now, a couple things to start out with. First of all, I've already made several videos associated with this build on carving, on finishing, and epoxy. So I put those in the description section, and I'm also going to have a playlist on my channel dedicated to this build. So check that out. Secondly, I don't like to buy wood from the stores. I like to get wood that someone's going to discard, take the dump, or burn in their fire pit like the stump that this Targaryen dragon came from. Or the purchase I made on Craigslist a couple years ago for a guy who needed more room to restore his Corvette. Well, here we are. This guy's restoring a Corvette. He needs more room. Or the flaming box elder that came from a guy who gave it to me because I helped him cut up the tree. That was key. <laughs> or lastly, the wood that came from my wood pile. And finally, I took great care and pain in getting the best angle of the photograph or the video so you could see exactly how I'm building this chair. So much of the video you're about to see is self-explanatory. I'm not going to over-narrate it, but I'll add comments where I think I need to. Here we go. Here's one of the nice pieces that I got, and I want to use this wide piece for the seat. Now there's a couple problems. There's a lot of defects on the top and bottom of this board throughout, but this is a pretty clean section. So I'm going to use this part right here. The other problem is, is that the flame is kind of crooked. I want the flame to be straight matching the back and the seat, so the flame comes off perpendicular to the back. And so I'm going to cut this 
and match this angle here so the flame is centered. If you look closely at this piece of walnut, you can see the grain is straight, then it curves down this way. So I'm going to split this and have the split follow the curve, so I end up with two pieces where the wood angles down, and that'll be perfect for the claws. I've got some leftover walnut from a previous project, and I'm going to use this for the seat support.
Okay, my plan was to use these curved pieces of walnut with the curved ends to carve claws into the end. So these will kind of hang down like claws, but I'm really not satisfied with it. These arms end up being too close and straight and they really should curve out because your elbows are out. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is actually change the orientation. So I'm gonna change them so they're actually curving out where your elbows will be. That'll be much more comfortable. And I'll probably just leave them normal, nothing special carved at the end. And instead, um, this was intended to be a leg and arm support combined in one, but it's, it's very underwhelming. I don't do underwhelming. So I went out to the garage and I went to my walnut stash and I found some big thick pieces of walnut. So I'm going to carve some big beefy legs here and put some big old claws on the end.
All the major carvings are done. What's left to do is to epoxy the arms and the remaining leg, inset the dragon in the back, and connect everything together. Now just an observation as I sit in the chair is it's very tight. And that's because these arm supports are way too narrow. They really crowd me in here. And so I'm going to design a different arm support so these arms can be out wider like this. Then we'll be good. Here we go.
almost so close after so long. Just like Kobe, this is a drop the chisel moment.
that is how you build a dragon throne. I sure hope you enjoyed this video, because I sure enjoyed making it. I'm still working on the charity details, so if you know anyone from HBO Game of Thrones, or Godzilla, because this looks a lot like King Ghidorah, or Mortal Kombat, please have them give me a call. In the meantime, I'm taking this throne on the road. I made it so I could take it apart and fit it through doorways, so I'm going on an interview series called Hot Air from the Dragon Chair. So be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Chop with Chris. Thank you. Still there? Oh. Hey, thank you.